Good evening and welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are zooming in on Orion. Chances are, if you've ever been out on a dark, clear night during wintertime, you have seen the diamond of the night sky, Orion. Orion has a sort of hourglass shape and is also recognized by uh, three very bright stars in a row, which is called Orion's Belt. Today, I'm going to show you why I think Orion is the best star constellation. We will start a very wide angle at 14 millimeters and zoom in all the way to telescope focal lengths. Orion is part of the winter circle asterism of stars. So if you start at Orion, uh, at the bottom right, uh, you have the star Rigel and uh, you go up, you go to Taurus, uh, the star constellation Taurus, and you have the bright orange star of Aldebaran, beautiful star. We go up a bit more and we go to Capella of Auriga. Uh, we go through Castor and Pollux of the star constellation Gemini and we go down again to the star Procyon and we end with the brightest star visible in the night sky, Sirius. So we've been uh, photographing the winter circle and Orion now for about an hour. Uh, yeah, it's uh, beautiful to the naked eye, but it's also pretty easy to photograph. I think um, the winter circle, to get the whole circle in, you need about 14 millimeters. But also if you focus on Orion, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful star constellation which really pops out uh, yeah, there's uh, also some really nice deep sky objects within Orion. The most recognizable and the brightest one is of course M42, the Orion Nebula. And uh, it is visible even to the naked eye and it can be photographed really relatively easily. Uh, on a, uh, yeah, it already shows uh, on uh, 24 or even 14 millimeters. And uh, Tom here uh, yeah, also just shot it without a tracker, without an astro modified camera on 80 millimeters. And it looks really cool. So, Nice targets. So the first 50 millimeter stack is uh, done. I'm now uh, going to put in an uh, H-alpha filter to get some more HA detail. I always hate to pull in this, these filters. It's really finicky. <laughs> So I put on mirror lockup, which is not working. Why is it not working? Yeah, so Tom is now just holding the button because uh, my mirror lockup is not working. But I no worries. Easy. So we've now uh, been shooting for about uh, three hours. Uh, it remains clear. There are some uh, clouds passing by, but it's mainly uh, in, in the north there. So uh, Orion and the Winter Circle remain visible beautifully. Um, yeah, so uh, I've shot Orion and the Winter Circle at a wide angle, uh, at 24 millimeters. Uh, I am now also putting in an H-alpha filter so that uh, yeah, you can get a lot more hydrogen alpha nebula visible. Uh, it is called around Orion the Orion um, Molecular Cloud Complex, the Orion Molecular <laughs> Cloud Complex. And um, yeah, it consists of uh, a sort of ring around Orion, it's called Barnard's Loop. Uh, I've already talked about, of course, uh, the Great Orion Nebula. Uh, there's also uh, the Horsehead Nebula, which uh, yeah, I can al uh, almost say made famous by the Hubble telescope. Uh, the Flame Nebula is uh, just a bit down uh, the Horsehead Nebula. Uh, there is the uh, yeah, a sort of big ball of H-alpha Nebula at the top right, uh, which is called the Lambda region. And there are a lot more. A couple more interesting targets within Orion are Casper the Friendly Ghost Nebula or M78. It's a small but really bright blue reflection nebula and it is great for a telescope setup. But it also just about shows up in the bottom left corner of a 135mm shot I made a year ago. 
Another great target is the Witch Head Nebula IC2118, which is a larger although very faint reflection nebula. You can see it dimly shine through on the 50mm shot I made this evening. So it's uh, getting pretty late now, uh, pretty cold also, it's freezing. Um, yeah, uh, Martijn is uh, yeah, somewhere here on the fields looking for some foregrounds. Tom is uh, finishing up his vlog here at the back. But hey, I uh, really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Uh, I hope you learned something uh, of Orion. Maybe I uh, convinced you that it's the best star constellation in the winter skies. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye.